Welcome to Old Rifle 1898, where we share our passion for rifles, their history, and the pleasure of using them. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Betterly Swiss Rifle of 1880. This is considered to be the first assault rifle. And why? Well, this is a repeating rifle and it was the first one to be used by a military or adopt, widely adopted by a major military in the world. What were the other military uh, armies using at the time were single shot either cartridge rifles or um, paper cartridge rifles. If we go back to 1866, it's the end of the American Civil War. By that time, almost all militaries were using muscle loading rifles. The Germans, back in 1840s, uh, were using what is called the Dreiser rifle, which was a bridge loading rifle which used uh, paper cartridges. This made the rifle to shoot like nine shots uh, per minute instead of the two or three, maybe three uh, of a muscle loading rifle. 1840, it's a long time before the Civil War and it was used and on several occasions, but it was not until 1866 or so that the Prussian army used this rifle against the Denmark with great success and the military uh, armies of the world noticed that and they start changing from muzzle loadings to bridge loading rifles. Make uh, and also using uh, uh, metallic cartridge. What we we now call uh, simple what we know right now as the the ammunition. It's called self-contained ammunition because it has everything in it. It has the bullet. It has the 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 powder, the propellant that will. Uh, make the chemical reaction to propel the, the, the bullet and he has the, the primer that ignites the, the propellant all in one unit. Uh, so we went from using uh, black powder in, in, in uh, loose black powder to start using uh, self-contained uh, cartridges and then muzzle loaders but only one shot muzzle loaders <sighs> here's a uh, somewhat modified uh, this is a chaspo this is from 1870 well actually this one is from 1866 but it was used from 1866 up to 1874 so when the when the french choose to ditch their muscle loaders they adopt this which was a single loading uh, paper cartridge they went for paper instead of uh, metallic because it was easier to produce and these uh, you have to cock the rifle then open the bridge put your paper, paper cartridge close it and then you were ready to shoot now this is most like the german racer is is almost just like it now that's 19 that's 1866 now we're talking about <clears throat> 1869 
and we have our rifle of today. The Swiss were among those who changed from muzzle loaders to single shot uh, rifles and then most rapidly uh, they adopted this because they said you know what repeating rifles is it's something that should be looked like look at and they saw the the winchesters and the spencers on the from the american civil war and this rifle it's the combination of the bridge loaders of let's say the the racer the chaspo with the uh, capabilities of uh, repeating rifles of the Winchester system of 1866. You might see that this is, the, it, it uses a tubular magazine, which means that the, the ammunition is stored in, a, in the tube here uh, underneath the barrel. And then uh, it, has, it, it has an elevator that, that takes those um, ammunitions and put it just behind the bridge so you can load each time that you extract the one of the uh, bullets. Now, that, as, a, as we mentioned before, was... Uh, unheard of. It was very advanced for the times. The armies of the world didn't believe really in having a repeating rifle because they thought that the, the, the poorly trained uh, soldiers will dump their load uh, very fast and they will be uh, left with no ammunition. And remember, those days it was very hard to get supplies to the front lines. Uh, they were barely starting to use uh, trains as a means to, to make war, to resupply. Uh, that was a big difference in the, in the, uh, the American Civil War and the uh, Franco-Austrian wars, that, that this new development of the of the railway system was used uh, completely uh, or started to use as a very decisive uh, factor in the waging wars. Now, going back to rifle, we have the tubular system of the Winchester, as, as we said, but it was also, uh, a, a, it had a, the capability of cocking the rifle as you just uh, open the bridge. As we noted, we'll notice with the Dreza and the Chaspo, uh, you had to cock the action, then open the, the bridge in order to load it. In the rifles of the Spencer repeating rifle, it was just like that. The, Winchester of the 1866, uh, you, you have to move the lever to get the, everything done also. So it was more uh, in line, uh, the, the, the betterly was more in line with, the, with the Winchester in that, in that regard. But as armies uh, had adopted, this was the first one adopted that you just just open the bridge and the the at the same time the rifle was cocked so now what this uh, rifle weights like 10 pounds uh, that's like six uh well let's five it's like five uh, kilograms and still looks a little bit like the old uh, muscle loaders it, it is a small it's considered a small diameter uh, bullet because it's only 11 millimeters that's uh, the 41 uh, for the for the 
American viewers. That's a 41 uh, diameter bullet. Now, by the time most uh, armies were using 18 millimeters or 6.61 gauge uh, bullets uh, in the uh, imperial system. Now, originally, uh, the Betterly was using uh, self-contained, but it was a ring cartridge and it was uh, a ring fire. That means that the, the igniter, the primer, was within the ring of the bullet. It was later, it was uh, other rifles developed the center fire system, uh, but the, the better way was never uh, transformed into the center fire uh, system. It, 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 when we went away in 18, uh, sorry, in 1874 or something like that, a, it was still using green fire. Today, there is no, there is no supply of these green fire bullets or cartridges. So most people, what they do is they uh, change the system of uh, ring fire into center fire cartridges and then they can use the the rifle so, talking about that the the <sighs> the bolt of the rifle had two prongs in order to uh, be sure that it will hit the rim twice so it, it will um, ensure that it will um, ignite the, the the primer in which is was stored in the in the rim it also had two locks on the bolt it is it, it, it they are in the rear, two rear uh, locks, locking locks, and this also was uh, unique for the times because you have to remember the bullets, the ammunition used was still black powder, and the uh, most of the or almost all of the bolts used at the, by the rifles of the time had only the need to use one lock so it was a very strong uh, kind of uh, ahead of this time uh, rifle the military armies or the armies of the world continue to use single shot uh, rifles for many years still it was not until the 1880s, mid 1880s, that the French turned into the Level, 1886, some other 1887s, 1884s. Uh, even uh, the Prussian army used the 1871, was the first metallic cartridge. Uh, rifle that they used it was the 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 mouser the first mouser and they only changed that until 1888 to a repeating rifle so we're t talking about 18 1870 the swiss changed to repeating and the prussians changed to repeating rifles uh 18 years later so you have an idea how advanced this was for the times. Military rifles of the uh, military rifles of the world changed dramatically after the siege of Plevna. That's uh, a, a, a city uh, in the uh, Romanian territory 
that was seized by the Russian during the Ottoman Russian War of 1877. There, the Ottoman troops, the Turkish troops, we call it now, held against a lot of uh, invading Russian armies. And what they did, they had single loading rifles of the time, but then they had Winchester. The Winchesters were good uh, shooters at shorter distance, but if you need to shoot at longer distance, you need these rifles, these kind of uh, military rifles. So the, the Turkish, what they did, they, they start shooting with their single shot rifles when the Russians were far away. When there was a wave of, uh, of an attack, they switch to their Winchesters and they start to shoot very rapidly. That way they got a, a big amount of firing power at, at, at a given moment. And it was so devastating for the Russian army that everyone uh, took notice and then they started to change into repeating rifles. 1877, you, you see the, the trend. By the mid 80, 1880s, everyone, everyone was using repeating rifles. The Swiss had the first assault rifle. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And I'm very grateful for the comments and uh, uh, suggestions that you had, the questions. Uh, so we'll see you in a very short time again.